So let's have a quick view at the tool, the design tool. Uh, it's quite easy. You know, you can just take, for example, the pendants here, uh, the down lights, and just simply copy and paste these uh, objects across the system designs. And then what we're going to do is uh, assign the wires to them. So you can do the entire wiring diagrams and layouts in this, in this tool. And the reason why this is important is because if you're new to the system, you probably would make some design mistakes. And with this tool, you can see we can drop the wall switches into place, etc. And the tool has a tremendous amount of support. I'm just going to show you a couple of quick features here that would allow us to let me find the third switch here. Um, that essentially will allow us to design this system and some of the power of the tool. So here we have uh, down lights, for example. And you're usually going to do down lights up to about maybe 30 watts per driver. That's a nice balance. So that's usually like two 6 inch, two 15 watt drivers at a time, or lights at a time. Um, you can do three. The, the drivers will accept that, especially if they're maybe, you know, four inch lights. Um, we also have these pendants. So I'm going to take these two pendants. And with a pendant, you're going to get a regular old light fixture socket. So because it's a regular socket, um, you're going to have to add an accessory to it, which is the sib. So I'm going to drop a sib here next to each one of these pendants. And the sib is the little box that makes the connection from the uh, Cat5 wire to the two wires that are the black and white typical AC wires coming in the, the head unit of the pendants. Um, for these lights here, um, let's just start and say we want to include uh, these three lights, and then we'll go down to the switch. So I'm going to select them in order, hit my macro button, and you can see what it did here. It, it assigned this to PDM1 port 1, a Cat5 yellow home run, that's the flag. PDM1 port 1 is the first device. 0101A is the second device, 0101B is the third, 0101C is the fourth. And it made it all zone one. It assigned a CC2 driver, which is a, a color tunable white driver. Automatically, it removed them from the other ones. And then I can do the same thing here. So I'm gonna make these three lights and these lights, uh, excuse me, these, these other three lights part of this same zone here. This is all zone one. So if I just highlight one of these, highlight the other devices in the space and hit the Control Shift Z macro, that just made them all zone one. It, it matched their zone. And if I select the rest of these over here, Control Shift A, it just did the second home run. So two home runs covered those six lights. Those are two down lights and they each have a switch on each side. You can see it's a three-way configuration. Now here, I'm going to highlight the pendants, the sibs, and then I'm going to highlight the switch because we want to go down to the switch. We're going to run our macro. And right now, I'm just going to, uh, well, I guess we can make one more zone over here. So we'll finish this up. Control Shift A. So here we have zone one is these lights. Zone two is the pendant lights. There's a three-way switch configuration for the main kitchen lights there. And then the dining nook area here is zone three. So Control shift r brings up our room names. If we wanted to, we could right-click on this and then name the rooms. So this is the kitchen, oops, cat block. <laughs> kitchen down lights. And then uh, we can do the same thing for zone two. I'm going to highlight that. That's our um, kitchen island. And then we have zone three. And we're going to call this kitchen nook. <clears throat> so if I just simply refresh the list here, we'll see all those. We see the number of ports used and the number of devices. Here's the cool part. Hit the line drawings button. It's going to automatically 
go through and create single line drawings from what you just saw there. So let's take a look at this. PDM1, PDM1 port 1, it's 36 watts. There's the three 6-inch lights. There's the switch. We can see that all of these are zone 1. So this switch and this switch are controlling these six lights. These two pendant lights are zone 2, quite obvious, 24 watts there. And then we've got 36 watts in these lights with switch 3. It also shows us that we have the SIB attached here, which we have to purchase when we do this. This system also creates a spreadsheet. So um, the entire system gets imported directly into the quoting tool. And you can see how fast it is to create a set of drawings and the single line drawings and double check the system to make sure that all the drivers are here, etc. So I'll have more videos posted about the tool shortly.